Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, that is the light of Christ shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Listen to that very carefully. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So, this word points to the word, which is Christ. And in Christ, in Jesus, is life. In his word, the scriptures, is life. In Christ, is light. And in his word, is light. So, when we are in Jesus, and his word is in us, what it tells me here is that the darkness and the confusion of the world cannot overcome us. Let me repeat that. It tells us that in Jesus is life. And we know that this word is life. In Christ is light. And his word, as we read in the very beginning, is a light unto our path. And a lamp unto our path and our feet. So when we are in Jesus... And his word is in us. As we've written, as we've read here, it means that the darkness and the confusion of the world cannot, will not, will never overcome us. So we need to be in the word so that we can be in the word. And finally, the word of God is important because it is instrumental it is absolutely critical for us to build, for us to develop, and for us to strengthen our faith. Without the word of God, we cannot build, we cannot develop, and we cannot strengthen our faith. We need the word of God to strengthen, to build, and develop our faith. What does Romans 10, 17 say to us? Romans 10, 17 says, Consequently, faith comes from, what? Hearing the message. Faith comes from hearing the message or reading the message. And the message is what? The message is heard through the word about Christ. Faith comes from hearing the message or reading the message. And the message is nothing else but the words about Christ. That is his word. So the only way that our faith is strengthened is by being in the word of God. By meditating upon the word of God. By hiding his word in our hearts, in our minds, in our lives. I said in the very beginning that if there was a traveler going on a dark road, on a journey, on a dark night, there was no light, and he had a lamp available to him to guide his steps, to guide his journey, so that he can get to where he's getting to successfully. And he refuses to take that lamp with him. Chances are he will get lost, Chances are he will fall into peril. And chances are he might not get to where he's meant to get to. It's the very same thing with the word of God. The word of God is a spiritual compass. And it's meant to help us navigate our way to eternity. But if we neglect this word, which is the lamp. And the light onto our path and our feet. Unless we are in the word, being led by the word. Number one. We will not get very far in our relationship with God. Number two, it's very likely, far more likely, that we'll be more like the world and less like Jesus. Number three, it's very likely that we will be falling under the influence and deception of the world. And number four, it's also very likely that we'll not get to our ultimate destination, which is eternity. The word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. And the only way we can deepen our relationship with God is by being in His Word and obeying His Word. I'm going to close once again by reading 
Joshua once again for us. What did the Lord say to Joshua? Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then, then, then you will be prosperous and successful. That is God's condition. If we want to enjoy the favor of God, if we want to enjoy the blessings of God upon our lives, we have to keep his word. We have to be in his word. We have to obey his word. Then we'll enjoy the favor and the blessings of God.